If you are struggling to get 100% perfection in Stardew Valley, or trying to find all of the hidden golden walnuts over on Ginger Island, or maybe you've started a new farm and you just can't be bothered to do all that progress, well don't worry, because Joja has you covered. Because in the 1.6 update, Joja have expanded over on Ginger Island, and they have some awesome things to help you speed up your gameplay in Stardew Valley. You don't see Pierre helping people out, right? If you like me and Shane here, and you love Joja, stick around and watch this video, because life's better with Joja. I'm gonna move you all over to the dark side. So if you go down the Joja path, you can purchase bundles for the community center to speed things up, all you gotta do is earn money, it's much faster than actually donating all of the bundles to the Junimos. But Morris didn't decide to stop here, he wants to expand further, he wants to help you guys out even more by going over to Ginger Island. You will only be able to do this new stuff in 1.6 if you have gone down the Joja path. This is just advanced and expanded Joja gameplay that you can do. Look, you have even see a Joja ship there, sailing the seas with all the cargo, doing their thing. Go on Joja! Now the first thing that Joja can offer you over on Ginger Island is actually help with finding all of the golden walnuts. Now this comes with a hefty price because of course you need to pay Joja for their time in helping you out. Now if you go right at the top with this beautiful view near the volcano dungeon there will be a golden parrot. Now Joja have specially trained this parrot to find golden walnuts for you in exchange for some shiny gold coins. Now this is going to be super pricey, 1.2 million and that will be all of the golden walnuts. I'm guessing that price is cheaper the more you've already found. This will allow you to speed through Ginger Island which can take a lot of time. Another awesome thing, Ginger Island now has a map. This can be handy for your first time to navigate around here. It looks awesome, I love the detail, you can even see the ship, the question marks for locations that might be quite important. It looks amazing and of course our person on the map, you can see your face, this is actually real time as well. So wherever you move on Ginger Island, this will actually follow on the map. You can see exactly where you are, this is going to be so important and, and handy to find the walnuts for your first time to explore. So this is my first time coming to Ginger Island on this farm, on this playthrough. So I'm going to purchase all of these golden walnuts because I've done it already before. So this is going to be super handy and amazing for me. So let's build it and see what happens. Am I sure about this? If the parrots find all the remaining golden walnuts, I won't have the true Ginger Island experience. Now, of course, if this is your first time exploring Ginger Island, do not do this. You know, go out, find them all, enjoy it, because it's super fun that way. This is just more for people who have done this multiple times and are starting to get a bit repetitive, getting a bit bored with it. It just gives you an extra option to speed run through Stardew Valley if you want to do a specific thing. Okay, there we go. We do it tonight. We go to sleep. The squad of golden parrots are going to go and find all of the golden walnuts. You see like these ones here? All these will be found. So we can use one of the new tent kits that you can find over here. Because now with 1.6, an amazing thing, you can actually find three of these tent kits where Leo lives in the little like secret forest bit. You'll find three of these to help you just stay on Ginger Island for a little bit longer, not have to worry about getting back in time and walking and traveling all the way down here. You can camp and explore Ginger Island for three nights, which is amazing. And here we go. We got a little cutscene with Morris and all of the bags of money that we just gave him. We've made him rich. But look at the parrots, guys. They are doing all the hard work for us. You know what? It's worth it. It saves me doing all of that. We've now got 129 golden walnuts. Even this one here that we saw has been found. This just makes things so much easier if you are an advanced player. But there we go. The parrot has now disappeared. It's a one-time thing. You've got all the walnuts. You can now fully expand Ginger Island, unlock everything. And that is what I'm going to do because we now are going to move on to the next thing that Joja can help you with on Ginger Island and in Stardew Valley in general. So the next thing that Joja can help you with is speeding your progress up towards 100% completion. You can check your percent on the perfection tracker in the golden walnut room. As you can see, I am 21% on this save file. This is the farm that I did my Joja playthrough on for the first ever time. So 21%. And like I said before, you can only do this if you have chose Joja as your like playthrough style, as your path. If you have done the normal community center run, you won't get any of this Joja content. Once you've unlocked Ginger Island and you've purchased all the golden walnuts, unlocked all of the like different parts of it, uh, and you can start focusing on perfection, you've obviously got to unlock Mr. QI's secret room to do that. You'll get a letter here that says, hello, I've heard you're working on a very special challenge. I have the perfect solution to help you out. 
meet me in the watery cave on Ginger Island. I'm guessing you won't get that letter if the professor is still trapped in there, so do make sure you finish all the Ginger Island stuff first and unlock all of the different locations with the walnuts, and then all of this content will start coming through with Jojo. And inside here, there is the new person. So of course we saw a screenshot for a long time of this little sprite here, this character. I thought it might may have been Gunther, but it's actually the new Jojo character. Let's go speak to him. And there is his little portrait design, his name is Fizz. So, you've got my letter, huh? Nice to meet you. I'm Fizz, the Jojo Special Services Division. You haven't heard of us. That's okay, most people haven't. We're not really advertised like other Jojo products. We're more of a speciality service for elite clients. What do we do? Well, let's just say we specialize in legally complex matters. Catch my drift? But enough chit chat, let's get to business. I've heard you're trying to achieve perfection, a noble goal, but difficult. Very difficult. All that cooking, crafting, monster slaying, all those complicated friendships. Oh, I can see how stressed you are. But here's the thing. You don't need to stress another minute. We've got you covered. Jojo's always got your back. See these papers here? They're called perfection waivers. Each one of these beautiful pages are worth 1% towards perfection. They've even got Mr. Key's signature on it. Completely legit. Do I look like someone who would like lie to you? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh my god. Don't answer that. Anyway, I'm selling these for a sweet, sweet price. Just 500,000 a pop. A steal. Well, no pressure. Just think about it. I'll be waiting. So half a million gold will add 1% perfection to your tracker. Now, obviously, if you are very, very low down like me at 21%, that's going to be a lot of money to get to 100 this is more for people who are maybe in the 90s and they can't figure out why it's not going to 100 uh, and they're kind of confused of what things are left. Well, you can just kind of skip past that, buy it, and um, it will automatically do it for you. For video purposes, I will purchase one of these and as you've seen, it was 21% before. So now, we've got one total, a perfection waiver. Now, this can be important for perfection because, you know, you do get a lot of benefits from actually getting 100%. You can get access to loads of different things the end game content and sometimes it can be frustrating to try and get that like 98 percent up to 100 you know or if you just don't want to spend time talking to the npcs getting that friendship up maybe that's the last one from my experience i was on 99 percent i think or 98 for a long time because i needed one last cooking recipe which was the chocolate cake i missed it the first time around and i had to wait for it just to randomly appear on the the rerun it took me ages to skip through and find it where, you know, I could have just spent 500k, which I did have at the time, just to get to, to 100%. So there we go, it says 21% plus one with the waiver. Now, it doesn't add anything to your things shipped, you know, the obelisks, all these tasks, they won't change. It literally just bumps up the percentage, just so it can say 100% and maybe get the achievement and all that stuff. It's quite expensive, you know, Jojo want to drain your money, but that is it, guys. That is the new advanced Jojo quest that you can do only if you have sided with Jojo and you've completed the, uh, the bundles. Of course, this is only for advanced endgame players who have a lot of money who maybe just don't want the repetitiveness of finding the walnuts and doing the perfection speedrunners would love this certain playthroughs and challenges will be awesome for this as well this is not for beginners you know enjoy ginger island enjoy getting to 100 naturally because that is the best part of stardew valley you know being able to relax have a cozy time and just naturally play and bump up that perfection but for people like me who have played from the very beginning and i kind of i've done all this stuff before this is going to be super super amazing but if you enjoyed it, please smash the like button. Make sure you join Jojo and Thrive because Jojo is the way forward, guys. Subscribe if you want to see more 1.6 videos. Until then, though, stay safe and stay cozy.